video, I'm going to show you how to add a wire to a canvas print or painting. So here are some supplies that you're going to need. First, you're going to need your canvas that you want to wire up, obviously, and you need some wire. I like to use this kind. It's easy to use. It's not very high gauge, it's pretty thin, but for most applications, you don't need something really thick anyway. I think this is weight tested up to 25 pounds. Now, if you're wiring something that's more than 25 pounds, I guess this video isn't for you, but the main idea if you're doing something larger is to use wire that can handle something larger. But you also need D-rings. You can get all of this stuff on Amazon. I've posted links in the description to everything in this video. You need a screwdriver. I use a screwdriver. I think I got this at Lowe's maybe like 10 years ago. I don't know. There are a lot of different electric screwdrivers on the market. You can use an electric drill, like a larger screwdriver or just a manual screwdriver. But I like this one. I have tendonitis, so I don't do anything manually. <laughs> and you need some gloves to protect your hands from when you use the wire to wrap the wire around. Now you don't have to use gloves if you have calluses built up on your fingers, but I don't, so I don't like my fingers to get messed up uh, from the wire. And you need some wire cutters. These are called South Wire brand. It doesn't really matter what brand of wire cutter that you use, but you need something that is really sharp and it's gonna be able to cut it without much effort. And you need some screws. These screws are basically the smallest ones that you can get, but if your canvas is thicker, you might be able to use longer screws. But the idea is that if you are inserting a screw in there, you don't want it to pierce through the canvas. So don't make the screw any larger than the thickness of your wood. And the thickness of my wood back here is pretty small. So if you see this screw, you don't want it to go any deeper than that. So that's why I use the smallest screw that I can get. So I take my D-rings. What you want to do is make sure that, okay, so I've got the front of my canvas on this side, so I'll make sure to turn it around so that I'm putting them on the right side. <laughs> you don't want to put your D-rings on the bottom of the canvas. You have to redo it. And then I basically just take my screwdriver here and screw it in. on there. Now you can also put D-rings on this side um, so you don't have to put them on the inside. Now I like to put mine on the inside here. Let's see if I can get it here so I can show you. I like to put mine on the inside because then when you're stretching the wire across it'll be on the inside and the canvas will hang flush against the wall. But you don't have to do that. You can hang them right along the back that's fine too. But this wood is so thin that you might have your D-ring protruding from the side over here and you don't want to ever see the D-rings on the outside of the canvas or see the wire hanging off. You want it all to be hidden back here behind. So that's why I put them on the inside. And anytime you have a canvas thick enough and you can put it on the inside, that's, this is the what you should absolutely do because it just it looks better and it hangs better on the wall. And next to you, screw in the D-ring on the other side. I don't measure the placement of these. I just kind of eyeball them. It doesn't really matter if they're exactly the same. Then what I do is I take my wire and I put on my gloves just to protect my thumbs when I start to twist this wire. Any gloves will work. I have these handy, so that's what I use, but any type of gloves. So what I do is I wrap this around once and then I wrap it around one more time. So you've got it wrapped around there twice and I pull it really tight. And then I just coil this around while holding this tight. Basically, if you just wrap it around a few times, you want to leave enough on here when you're doing it that you'll have a pretty good amount of coils around there. And I just kind of squeeze them tight right next to the D-ring and everything's tight. And you pull on this and there's no movement. If you pull on this and then it does start to unwind, which sometimes it does, that means that you did not put enough times of wrapping it around and you did not do it tightly enough. So just take it apart and redo it, more wrapping and tighter. Now for the other side, but first we need to cut this. You wanna leave a little bit on here so that there's room to wrap and there's room for it to have a little bit of give in the wire. What I mean by give is you can see the wire comes to about here. 
That's what you want. Okay, now I cut quite a bit extra on here. And that's okay. Uh, you can either cut it off. So we're wrapping it around there twice. You can either cut it off or you can just wrap it. I just usually wrap all of it because it just gives it more stability. But if it's bothering your fingers to wrap it, because it does take a while when it's more, then you can just cut off some of it. Now you can see that the wire has about this much tension in it. If you leave a little bit of room in it rather than just wiring it straight across, this makes it just a little bit easier to hang um, and, and, and it'll set better on the wall if it's a little bit warped, which sometimes over time canvases can do that. Well, that concludes my video. I've got my artwork ready to hang and wire all in place. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.